Well, greetings, friends. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Friday here in Eastern North Carolina. Well, yesterday we talked about worthless things and allowing our eyes to see worthless things. And much of our culture and, and the media and Hollywood is putting out things that are just not wholesome for us to consume and to, to, to watch and to, to think about. And so today I want to give you an example of this in Proverbs. Uh, uh, Solomon, the great wise man of the Old Testament, he wrote in so uh, Proverbs chapter number six about an adulterous man and how it hurts and destroys a person. In fact, verse number uh, 32, he says, he who commits adultery lacks sense. He who does, does it destroys himself. And then in chapter seven, the whole chapter is dealing with an example of this. The man's walking down the street and and, it, and also in verse seven, it says, uh, I have perceived among the youths a young man lacking sense and, and he passes a woman on the corner. Verse number 10, the woman meets him. Verse number 11, she's loud and wayward. And, and verse 13, she seizes him and kisses him. Verse 19, my husband is not at home. And uh, verse 21, so with much seductive speech, she persuades him with her smooth talk. She compels him. Sounds like Hollywood, doesn't it? I want to say, my friends, if you go down to the last verse in verse number 27 here in this chapter, her house is the way of Sheol going down to the chambers of death. You see, my friends, it's a dead end road when we go outside of the laws of God when it comes to relationships and marriages. We should, in a marriage relationship, there should be one, one spouse, one person, one husband, one wife. Uh, we should not allow the, the, the culture, the things that Hollywood puts out and that says it's so nice, it's so wonderful, the grass is greener on the other side. We should not allow that to influence us uh, because it's a dead end road. And I want to encourage you today, my friends, again, be careful what you see, be careful what you think about. Keep the, your marriage holy. Now, let me just say this. If you have failed already and a spouse has failed, we have to have forgiveness. God forgives us. There's no sin so great he cannot forgive. And so I'm so thankful for the forgiveness. But from here on out, I challenge you, let's keep our life holy and pure. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Bye-bye.